maybe one day I'll get good at this whole like taking a camera around with me, but until then. Obviously, as you can tell by the sound, I've got this guy. Got running. My coworker and I stayed late last night to put a new mechanical fuel pump on it because I feel like that's where the problem was, and I will insert some clips of what I have from that. We can check it out. I'm gonna, like I tried to hit the accelerator a little bit harder uh -huh. than normal, and that's when it boop, 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 and then it, I let go and it comes back. And like the choke makes it easier, but then at the same yeah, time. In the in the carburetor, uh, but yeah. he just rebuilt it. That's right. So. Yeah. Nope. Am I like trying to do anything in here? Like hit it against something, or literally just screw it on? Okay. Oh, nope. All right. Be good. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, cool. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna drive it see if I fix this issue and if that's the case then awesome I don't have good tags on this thing they are actually here I will show you <sighs> they're from 2017 so I know with COVID they're not really too strict about it but I really don't feel like getting pulled over but yeah all right let me go get it started again wish me luck <laughs> So I also have some footage of the fact that it does have lifter noise and I might have to do something about that later. Should I be putting zinc in it? Yeah, it's probably just need to... Uh, have you ever adjusted the valve on it? Hell no, I haven't been in there. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably just the valve that I really want to adjust on. Do I need to worry about that before I really before something bad happens? No. I mean you haven't driven it that much. It no. might have been lifted on the phone. Bullshit, man. Also that slight miss is happening in that. Here, bud. Take it 
Does anybody else need to double clutch their trucks to get them into gear? Because it's kind of annoying. In the excitement of trying to, you know, get this thing up here and parked, everything fell back here. And as you can see, I have the old spark plugs, which these guys are, I don't know if it'll focus. There we go. As you can see, these things have been struggling. And I got that, got an old coil. My old reducer box, this was one from Napa. And if I am not mistaken, it was $80, but it also keeps crapping out. So it's like electrical backfire. Oh God, my keys for my Subaru, which can't lock anymore because I broke it. And so the battery just rattles around in there. But yeah, so there are seat belts, but they don't actually work like they're literally just bolted into the floor and part of me wants to just take them out. This thing's an antique, so I don't need it to even have an inspection. But let me show you guys the fuel pump. Here's the old fuel pump. I mean, yeah, watch. Ready? Nothing. Not moving. It's not gonna squirt fuel because it's empty, but like no, no movement. None at all. So, this thing is locked up, not good. That was the whole problem, problem the whole time. Which sucks, cause obviously as you can see, I essentially got a whole new ignition system and now went through the fuel system. I, mean, I guess I should have done it anyways, but I'm still bummed out that it took like this long to do it. Editing day, Jessica. Just wanted to uh, come in and kind of give an update on the Wagoneer since I know some people have subbed for those videos or mainly for those because that's what I started this channel with. I'm still waiting on parts for that to come in. But I did get... <clears throat> I got this guy. This is cold. <laughs> I just pulled this out of the wagon here so it's freezing right now. Yes, I decided to do the surge tank that BJ's offers with the Wagoneer. Here I also got the track bar brackets. Um, I got an email saying that they were on back order. So, yeah. 